for joining me. If you're new, my name is Lizzie and I really appreciate you clicking to view my video and it would mean a lot to me if you want to go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel on here and I just love sharing my candle hauls. That has been what I've been showing the past probably dozen videos. I just love Bath and Body Works and lately I've kind of been obsessed with Goose Creek. I know I really don't need more candles so I they've just but they've just had so many good scents that keep releasing every week and they're coming for me. They are coming for my money. So watch out Bath and Body Works even though I know SAS is right around the corner. Uh, Goose Creek is competing with you and they are just doing awesome sales and three week candles and just delicious fruity yummy scents that I just can't pass up. So um, I'm sorry if you are a returning subscriber my background is different I am in my basement um, and as you can tell in the boxes in the background these are all candles by the way all my box candles that I moved across the country are still kind of packed away and I have to kind of organize them and find a place to put them and a vacuum cleaner in the background so uh, yeah so I'm sorry about the background and um, it's not my usual natural lighting but maybe maybe it's kind of better this way I don't know we'll see but basically I'm filming down here because the little one is about to go to bed and um, my husband brought these orders down here there's two orders today so he brought them downstairs and I was like well I'm not looking them back upstairs to film so I'll just film down here uh but yeah so I think like I said Goose Creek always runs a sale and then usually you could get either a 15 or 20 percent on top of that sale price so that is awesome um they don't send out like coupons in the mail just yet but uh if you're signed up with an with with their website or whatever you get notified and um they always have it on their website anyway the promo code that you need to get that additional discount off but i've rarely seen their candles like really full priced and like i said i don't buy them then anyway so i think it was memorial day weekend uh they were having six for 60 so basically ten dollars each for their um candles um they have three wicks and the jar candles um so i did a bunch of three wicks and then the weekend after that, I want to say, um, they had a new collection release that I was just like dying to get my hands on and they were running four for 44. So $11 each. And like I said, if you go over the four, they'll still keep the price at $11. You don't have to do like eight more candles or whatever to get that price. So they were $11 each and also an additional like 20% off, I believe. So yeah, so the prices are just too good to pass up. I think for free shipping, you have to spend over $100. And then, like I said before, if you saw my other uh, Goose Creek haul, that you accumulate points and you can use that towards dollars off in $5 increments. So I appreciate that. A little money saved. Why not? On top of everything. Um, so let's get started because this might be a long video. And I might or might not have placed a new order today. But that will be a separate video. So, like I said... I placed this order because they released this new collection called the Ice Cream Collection and I just love gourmand, foodie scents. They just all sound amazing, makes me hungry, makes me crave sweets. So yeah, that's pretty much why I placed this order. And they don't keep the notes on the candle, so I did write them down because I just film on my phone. Who needs to invest in an expensive camera when this suits just fine and I need candles more candles so no time for um, a fancy camera uh, so let's get started here so this is the ice cream collection I want to say I don't know maybe there's six or seven cents I didn't get them all I know can you believe that so I only got the ones that really appealed to me and this one I just had to have oh there's a little scratch in the label but that's okay because I bought two of them um, so this one is banana marshmallow and Sometimes I'm not a huge fan of the labels, um, but this one is cute and they are starting to do the wraparound labels, but the only downside with the wraparounds is that they no longer have colored wax. Usually they always had um, these beautiful colored waxes and now with the wraparounds they just do the plain white, but it's the three wick. And this one is definitely a good banana scent. So, me, so this one is creamy ice cream, fluffy marshmallow, banana, and vanilla. And this one is very accurate to his name. You get the marshmallow, you get the vanilla, and you get the banana scent. Um, it's not like a totally artificial banana, like the banana cabana ca candle from BBW. 
I think is so artificial. It just smells like banana runts, banana now and laters. But this one is just like a really nice banana scent. I mean, it's not like too artificial, like I said. It's just like a nice ripe banana, a banana split, exactly what I imagine. And so, yeah, I just had to try this. So I thought I was going to love it. So I definitely ordered two. So banana marshmallow. Here is buttered waffle in this beige packaging with the waffle cone and this one is creamy ice cream they're all creamy ice cream notes in the beginning buttered waffles pecans and vanilla this one was nice surprise I like almost didn't order this one because I was like is it gonna smell kind of maple syrupy and I'm not a huge maple syrup fan I've never tried the blueberry maple pancakes from Bath and Body Works so this one I was like I don't want to just smell like maple syrup, but this one was very surprising. I mean, it kind of reminds me, I don't, it doesn't like right off the bat make me think of buttered waffles. I mean, you get that kind of bakery note, but you also, I think you, I think it is also the, the pecans. It's just like got that nutty, buttery smell to it and yeah it doesn't make me think of waffles right off the bat but it's just a nice really good bakery smell mm, that one definitely surprised me I might need another one of that okay ice cream sundae pink very cute ice cream sundae creamy ice cream vanilla chocolate and caramel and it has like little pictures of sundaes all over it in the pink the other ones have like a marshmallow and the waffles on the buttered waffle one. So this one does remind me of like the ice cream sundae candle from Bath and Body Works. Sorry if I compare the two brands a lot. It's just because I have so many Bath and Body Works and not too many other like candle brands that I've tried that just brings to mind like other ones from, from that brand. And yeah, it smells like ice cream sundae um, or I'm sorry, ice cream shop. Is that what? They call it Bath and Body Works one, and it's just like that chocolate note. I don't really smell caramel. Maybe a little bit, but yeah, definitely the chocolate syrup and just like a nice creamy vanilla. So ice cream sundae. I'm glad I got that one. The other banana marshmallow. This one does not have a rip in the label, so I'm happy about that. Birthday cake beautiful purple and this has little birthday cakes on it and this one is creamy ice cream birthday cake vanilla bean and icing definitely reminds me of like a vanilla sugar like vanilla sugar icing like right out of the can from like Pillsbury or whatever mm, this smells good that was that was all I picked up from the ice cream collection so four four cents but five total um I think they had one that was coconut cream I don't like coconut so I said no thank you they also had I think just a plain like vanilla one and I was like I don't really need a plain vanilla candle after like usually most bakery scents or cake scents kind of smell vanilla y so I was like I don't really need that one and I think there was a strawberry one and I was like eh, I don't really strawberry is not my favorite fruity scent uh and I kind of don't need like another strawberry pound cake dupe so I was like okay I'll do these four but yeah I would say banana marshmallow they're all good banana marshmallow and buttered waffles are definitely the two standouts and my two favorites because they're just so like different and really like smell authentic so well except for the buttered waffles because that just smells like something yummy um so that was the ice cream ones that I picked up and of course I had to pick up others uh I picked up this strawberry lemonade cupcake so I don't really care for like the realistic photo stock photo labels um but for food scents I don't mind because they just look delicious and this has the beautiful pink wax and yes no notes on this but it is strawberry vanilla cake lemonade and icing mm. I actually get more of the lemon note than the strawberry. But yeah, it does. It, you kind of get the berry. But yeah, it smells like strawberry lemonade. Not too much like of a cake, cupcake vibe, but strawberry lemonade sounds delicious to drink. 
I decided to get this one. Um, it's green grass and apple. I don't know. I'm like I said, I I love fall scents. I cannot wait for fall scents to come. So after SAS, they should be appearing soon. So I cannot wait for that. So this one is apple, pear, lemon, and spring grass. I love the green wax. This one, I don't know if you guys remember the Gap fragrance that was, I think it was called Grass. It reminds me of that because it was not like too grassy, but it's kind of like, kind of just like, just that green, fresh note. And this is what this smells like. I don't, I don't really get the apple. Just like, it remind, <laughs> totally reminds me of Gap Grass perfume crazy but yes green grass and apple I picked up another key lime cake pop so I got this in my last order and ugh, it just this one smells exactly like key limes and cake and it just smells so good um it's juicy lime cake batter vanilla icing sparkling sugar nail on the head mm. that one smells so good I was like I need another one I thought I would love the pineapple cake pop but on cold, that one kind of underwhelmed me and I was really digging this one. So I was like, okay, get another one of those. This one sounded interesting. Dandelion tea. What's dandelion tea? Who drinks dandelions? But I mean, I mean, I know people eat dandelion leaves, but okay. Um, fresh dandelions and bergamot. Straight two notes. I don't know. I don't know what I think of it. It's, I mean... Dandelions kind of give me that bitter scent almost when you like pick them and like you kind of get the oils and everything on your fingers and has, has that kind of tin, that bitter tinge to it. But this kind of, it's like a fresh green, maybe a soft floral note, but I don't really get tea or any kind of tea reminiscent. It smells good. It just smells a little light. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I thought that was interesting. And last from this order is Bright Spring Rays. It's a beautiful yellow. And this one is Juicy Apple, Mandarin, Pineapple Slices, Jasmine, Pear, Coconut, Lemon, Sandalwood. So some Goose Creek scents have like, yeah, 10 notes, the top, the mid, the base, and then some, like this dandelion tea, that's the one that I've seen like the least amount of scent notes ever on one of their candles. So I don't know if they're like trying to pare it down, trying to make it more simple, but this must be an older scent. And this, I don't know why they call it bright spring rays because it definitely gets that tropical note. And when I think of spring, I think floral, green, grass, this one, Reminds me of just like tropical summer, islandy. I definitely get the pineapple. Pineapple and maybe the mandarin, but I can't really tell the other notes. But it's good. I just feel like the name is a little misleading. So that was all from this order, which was three, six, nine, ten. Ten candles. And somebody pointed out in their order that they are giving out coupons in their online order so bbw where are the coupons um it's not for candles or for like it's specific it's for shower gels so 15 percent off a shower gel from their store so um yeah i thought that was pretty nice i've never tried their shower gel they have tempted me but there's not too many scents yet like the candles so i was kind of like i don't care for any of the scents to really I try to try them so um but 15% off and oh expires in seven days how do you even know when seven days from when you get it seven days from when you place the order it must be seven I don't know I don't know how they would keep track of that but uh there's no date on it um but yeah so at least it's something uh Bath and Body Works you need to watch out because you might get replaced soon okay and then I placed another order like a week later because they were having a great deal still and a new collection. And I was like, oh my gosh, now I need this. So it's the Icy Pops collection. How does that sound? I love popsicles. Like 
I probably prefer popsicles over ice cream maybe but um yeah when I saw this I was like okay give me that um so let's get started well first in this one they gave me a free body lotion. They usually include one of these if your order is like over $70, $75 or something. This one is in Beach Dreams. Um, it's all sealed, but it's vanilla bean, clementine, red apple, sandalwood. They didn't include one in my other order because the scent they, they were giving away for free was sold out. So it's like, well, just pick another scent. But that's okay. I don't use these. Um, they're sealed. So I have like a ton of these now collecting um, that I list on Mercari. Super cheap if you do want to try some of their lotions. Um, but yeah, they're, they're just, I don't typically wear lotions. So, and then I did get a soap, I think to get the free shipping. And this is the scent Paradise Tea. Fragrance notes, crushed pineapple, mango, black tea, coconut milk. I actually got this in a candle last year, but I never burned it yet. So I don't know exactly what it will smell like burned. And so I did get every scent of the Icy Pops collection. I wasn't going to, but then like, I forget. I think I needed to make the minimum shipping. I was like, well, why not try them all? So the first one I was so excited about and got two of, Cherry Cola. I think this packaging is cute. It's a little like cartoony, childish, but I don't mind it. And this one is Wild Cherry Fizzy Cola Lime Lemon Sugar. Mm. so when I opened this some of the lids were stuck in the in the crate that was protecting them so I totally lost which lid went to which candle um which doesn't usually bother me but I was like well I don't want the scents to like interfere with my smelling them on cold and then I smelled this lid and I knew right away cherry cola that's cherry cola it smells that cherry note you get that cola sweetness fizz I'm so glad I got two of these I think I definitely need more. So cherry cola. This one is the rocket. It's called rocket, but you know, rocket pops. Um, everybody's saying that firecracker pop from Bath and Body Works is like the rocket pops. So let's see this one, strawberry, blueberries, raspberry, sugar. So a bunch of berries. This one, I don't know. I, it's not, I don't think it's as good as firecracker pop. I feel like this one smells a little plasticky. A little like pink fairy gumdrop, which is not my favorite. It's one of the scents that I really detest from Bath and Body Works. So it's not as offensive as that one, but it's definitely kind of reminiscent of it. So I don't know about this. So I'm kind of glad I did not pick up more than one of these. Watermelon sugar. Uh, this one is sweet watermelon, mixed melon, berries, and sugar. This one has the pink popsicle. This one kind of smells like pink watermelon from Bath and Body Works, but not as sugary, like not as strong. That one is very strong on cold. Yeah, this one is like a mellowed down, watery version of that one almost, I would say. So watermelon sugar, spiked strawberry. It is spiked strawberry, red berry, cherry sugar. No, I don't like this one. You kind of get, it just smells like an artificial strawberry scent. Also kind of that plasticky note. Mm. I mean, it kind of gives me that, like, a spiked uh, daiquiri vibe, but I can't get over that artificial strawberry. Mm. But like I said, I'm not the hugest strawberry fan. Strawberry lemonade cupcakes smelled really good to me, but that one... Mm -mm. Uh, blueberry lemonade. This one is wild blueberry grapes, lemon, and sugar. You get the blueberry. It's not a very artificial blueberry scent. Kind of like a, sh yeah, you get the sugar. Maybe I do detect that grape note a little bit in the background and the lemon. So this one is pretty true, but it still t it seems a little off. I don't know. Definitely nothing is comparing to that cherry cola. Oh, and I got two blueberry lemonades because I thought I would really like that. I really like the blueberry lemonade 
test candle from uh, Bath and Body Works that kind of made a variation of it in the blueberry spritzer, but the blueberry lemonade was really good. And I was hoping this would be comparable to that, but it's, it's not really, it's, it falls a little short, but so I favorite absolutely is cherry cola and then blueberry lemonade is a runner up. So I am glad those are the only ones that I did get two of and not the rest. Um, but I think I do need more cherry colas. Now, you know, I didn't get just those. I had to, you know, get a few more. Um, oh, there's the ch other cherry cola. Oh. oh, here's one that I didn't go over. <laughs> grape. I'm not the hugest grape fan. So let's see. Frozen grapes, mixed berries, and sugar. It actually doesn't, I don't mind it. I mean, people might not like it because it kind of is reminiscent of Grape Dime Tap. But it's, it just smells like a nice, sweet, sugar grape scent. I'm not like, I don't, grape popsicles aren't my favorite. I prefer cherry or the blue ones, but I don't, I'm not bad at this. It's not bad. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I only had one other candle aside from that collection. <laughs> And I went out of my comfort zone and picked up one of the men, masculine scents, Applewood. So all the like masculine scents come in the black packaging. Um, usually they're like barber shop and gentleman and whatever. Um, but Applewood is red apple, plum, soft pear, jasmine, peony, cedarwood, patchouli, vanilla, musk. I don't like patchouli, so I hope I don't smell that. But let's see. It's definitely manly. But it's not bad. I don't I don't get like hardly any of those fruits or the jasmine or the peony. I don't know, maybe it's just all it kind of reminds me a little bit of like a cinnamon spicy note. Maybe with that cedar wood and patchouli a little bit in the background. It's not bad, but it is definitely manly. So I don't know. Now that I share an office space with my husband, cause we're both remote workers, um, we have been lighting candles like in this area. And so we kind of vibe off each other like, oh, do you like this scent? Or what do you think about this one? So I don't know, I'd be interested to see what he thinks about this. Cause right now he kind of goes along with, you know, of course, whatever I picked, I don't necessarily buy the scents to his taste. I get what I think sounds good. And if he likes them, he likes them. Sometimes I'll let him pick out of the ones which one he wants to light. But usually, yeah, they're either gourmand, food, some florals thrown in there. He really actually liked the honeysuckle that I have from Bath & Body Works. So surpri not that surprising because he really liked the body wash. So yeah, but you know, for a man, I wasn't expecting that. Um, but yeah, so it'll be interesting to see what he thinks about this apple wood. I kind of get cinnamon. I don't know. Um, well, I'm sorry. This was a long video. Thank you so much for staying through it, hopefully. And tell me if you picked up any of these new collections. So I did place an order today because they came back out with their travel collection. Um, they had them last year. They went away. I wasn't sure if they were coming back or not. They did come back in the three wicks. I think last year they were the two, wick, two wicks. With the wraparound labels, beautiful scenery, beautiful scents, it sounds like. So I didn't get, I think there was just one that I ended up not getting, even though I probably will pick it up later. But there was, um, I'm glad I waited till today because I almost placed an order yesterday when they released some of them. And then I was like, no, I don't need any more candles. Um, but then they released like three or four more today and those scents just sounded amazing that I had to get multiples of them. So I was like, okay, I'm placing on order. Plus, like I said, they had the 20% off and they were already discounted. So win-win. Uh, thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed this haul, hauls. And uh, yeah, next coming up, SAS. Can't wait to see what my store has. Hopefully some really good stuff. And everybody's getting coupons lately in the mail. So I hope mine is on its way and better be in my mailbox tomorrow. So take care, you guys. Thanks. Bye.